Hi, my name is Sean McLaren. I'm the executive director of Inner City Women's Ministries International, which uh, started actually right here in Manitoba in 2004. It started with uh, a trafficking issue that happened in rural Manitoba back in 2003, and we realized that there wasn't much going on to help uh, people coming out of human trafficking, uh, men, women, uh, children, uh, all ages. And we started the ministry because of that, and it has grown to an international ministry where uh, women in the certain countries decide their issue, and they work with it. Here in Manitoba, it's human trafficking. Uh, it's uh, walking alongside uh, someone. It's a, it's a lifelong commitment uh, if the person wants it, the survivor wants it, and uh, we do that with pleasure. Uh, we also are very into prayer, and we're organizing the uh, Manitoba um, Human Trafficking Awareness Day Prayer Initiative. It's our fourth annual prayer across Manitoba. So we're just asking people to get together 7.30 in the morning, March 15th, it falls on this uh, year, and pray from 7.30 to 8.30 in the morning. It's a, it's a fourth annual, and it's important because, again, I say it's a spiritual issue, and we want to get people involved, and God moves when people, wherever two or more are gathered. I mean, I could list you miracle after miracle after miracle with, uh, with ladies coming out of trafficking, with people surviving physical issues because of prayer, and um, we want people to know that God moves. It's a spiritual issue. Okay, first and foremost, and you can see human trafficking throughout the Bible. In fact, if you want the blueprint for, for what's happening in Winnipeg, you need to look at your Bible first. Okay, well, I uh, grew up out in Steinbach, and I um, ended up in several uh, group homes. Um, I was a part of um, foster care. I um, came to Winnipeg, and I tried to find, like you know, a family in love, but um, the family in love that was given to me was um, kind of like, I didn't really know. I didn't really know what um, what um, I was get, like getting involved in. Um, I was really vulnerable. I got targeted at a homeless shelter um, and I got placed in um, human trafficking. And um, I ended up wanting to exit so you know I asked God into my heart and I reached out to the inner city women's ministry well like being rescued and everything and um yeah um I didn't even know that it happened um you know the people around me I, you know they seem to be in the same situation as me so I decided that hey these people seem nice you know because you know I didn't have nobody and uh, next thing you know, I find out by police, though, that I'm being trafficked. I didn't even know when I ended up in inner city women's ministries care. It was really hard. There was a lot of struggles. And um, it took a while to um, try to change my mind frame because I was so brainwashed and controlled. And 